hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys is doing absolutely great today i want to share with you how to make this 3d logo design into this let's check the intro Digography skills with creativity please consider subscribing to our youtube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos so without wasting much of our time guys let's dive into today's tutorial yeah good evening guys welcome back to Digography design training i believe we're doing great and happy sunday to you all Today I want to show you how you can make a 3D logo, design a 3D logo on your Android smartphone using your PC lab alone without any other application. So in this tutorial, you are going to learn how to do that and how to place it very well. So without wasting much of our time, let's get started. So I'm going to make all these things with shape. So you have something like this, just opacity, then the stroke should be like this. Increase the size well, depending on how you want it, to 35. But I want to let me make it to be 30. So 30 should be okay. So okay, good. Then you position to the center. Always remember that. We copy, then we'll go back to the editing where you reduce the size very well. Reduce the size to your own best of understanding. It's so cool then you position it to the center so we are dealing with this one after the other but it seems like uh, this one is somehow big so let me reduce it to something like 25 so after that i'm positioning it to the center then i will tap on it 25 is still small so let's look at something like uh, 27 then i will use the relative size then i will go to eraser go to eraser so get into eraser tap on this and tap on cut out then we are using it to so let's just make it like this so we we'll need to position it to the center but we touch it very well so that it can be okay so we'll close it to the center and we we'll cut it out so when you look at it it's not yet to the center so let's make it this way so when you look at it we actually get it then we click on mark so we cut the middle so the next thing we are going to do we do we make it uh, with the third one which you can say sorry so the next thing we are going to do we tap on that big one then we'll go to eraser so we're going to do the same thing but with different dimension so we have something like this so we'll move it to the center then have it like this if possible then we we'll have to be sure that it actually at the center cut it then we we'll tap ok then you can see we'll go to this place where we'll have this then we're going to crop just crop like this which you can see so we we'll measure the size we we'll make sure that it's somehow uh, 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 rhyme with the size of others. so we have something we reduce then we we'll rotate so that it can actually work well so rotate it so that it can work then you reduce the size then let's check to see so when you look at it it's somehow thick but i think it's okay like this very good so now what we're going to do next we will lock it then we're going to copy so copy this position to the center then we're going to move we're going to move it you get it we need to be extra careful here our hand must so we are dealing with the second one at this edge so it has to touch this area then we we'll rotate so let's rotate so that we can we can make it look more professional so we'll go to rotation so it's okay like this then we we'll check tap 
move okay and then we'll move in okay 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 so now let's rotate okay good so when you look at it everything is actually around you can tap on tap on zoom for you to see clearly so if there is any contour you can just adjust but there is none so it means we're actually perfect so the next thing we're going to do is to just put our right up take it for instance deco so we'll put a deco we'll go to the front area so i'm going to use a roboto or let me use leak pattern let's use leak leak spatter so we're going to just uh, make it a cough a bit but not as big as that so we'll go to size let's increase the size a bit to make it a actually fitting so after that we position to the center which you can see rotate if possible bit. sorry so we we'll copy so copy it uh, sorry please so we are going to edit this graphics graphics so we are going to cough and we'll, we'll just switch it back and we'll go to size we we'll reduce you can see we we'll reduce the size now we'll go to cough again and make it a cough well very good. don't forget to hit the subscribe button so and the we'll bell icon to make it a rotate a bit here So let's make it rotate. Okay, good. So when you look at it, this deco graphics. So now the next thing we are going to do, we are going to just go to the text area where we'll type D. Then we'll go to the font. Then we'll pick a particular font for that. So let's just pick a link. If we pick leak or we pick another font, something like that can captivate. So let me look like this. Okay. So I've seen one. So we can actually increase this, have a position at the middle, deco, then we are going to merge everything, merge everything together. So after merging, we are going to, so now go to, we tap on it, then go to the texture area. So now this is the marker we are going to use. So what we are going to do next? before that we are going to just cancel then we select the background let's use the mock-up as our background as you can see so after using it as background then you use a texture tap on it then you crop a particular area that you actually wanted so let's take it for instance i want this particular area tap on it and as you can see we enable the texture can still go further by making it widespread like this so after that we go to uh, the shadow enable don't just re increase we'll go to 3d enable we can reduce it to four then we'll go to decking uh, decking 100 then we'll go to uh, enable we can see this then we'll go to we click ok then we we'll go to uh 3d rotates then we'll rotate minus let's say 30 let's rotate 31 31 
then you reduce the size have you position it it's not in there to make it more professional it has something which we can actually do right so what we're going to do we go to down to inner shadow tap on the inner shadow like this everything dark right don't worry we copy click on plus sign click on color picker then we use the color we pick a color from any area here take it for instance we pick this particular color then we tap ok so we click ok then you can see it appear there so everything is actually plumb you can increase the radius offset you can increase it since it's the same uh, uh, color you choose then you see how brighter it is if you change it you see how it look if you change it with another color but since we use the color picker to pick the right one is it not really okay it's actually okay so we can now go to this place and uh, uh, we'll go to 3D, then we'll have it uh, rotated to this area. So we'll have it. Sorry, let's just bring this back. Then we'll have it. We'll go to rotation, then we'll. Then we we'll have everything when you look at it. We we'll have everything just plumb exactly like this. So this should just be 32. Uh, so good. So this is just a simple way how you can make uh, uh, a mock up on your Android smartphone using your PCL. Very easy. Everything was actually done on our, on our PCL. And this is very, very top notch. I believe. We all learn something from here uh, and i believe this is helpful thank you for watching god bless you just save as a ultra then save as a png